Good morning. All right, so I woke up at like five o'clock to go to the bathroom and I was like, I'll turn on Uber and see if anything happens. And like right away, oh, I gotta put my seatbelt on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> okay, right away, I get this McDonald's. You know, it's not even four miles, it's $10, could be hidden tip on it, you know, great order. I drive out to McDonald's, they're closed. They changed their hours, so they don't open till 6 a.m. So I called Uber support, I got my $3, and I went back to bed. And now it is nine o'clock, and I finally felt like moving. Um, the first DoorDash, this one is a great order. I've delivered to this person a bunch of times. The second DoorDash, though, uh, it's high mileage, but I don't know. I'm a top dasher, so I felt like I had to do it. All right, so I dropped that first one off. Uh, I used to deliver to that person almost every day before DoorDash started the AR thing. And that, that's part of the reason why I tried to raise my acceptance rate because there were these orders that I would be doing almost every day where I'm like, these people have the dash pass and I haven't seen any of those orders since my AR went down. So they're sending them to someone else. But uh, anyway, this the second order I accepted that I said was crappy, it's 575 and it said it was going 4.1 miles. But just because of how well I know the map, I know I can go a different way and it'll save me time. Here I took two screenshots of it to show you that literally saved one mile. So it's more like three miles for 575. Still not quite two bucks a mile, but pretty good. And the order was already ready when I got there. So see in this order I'm delivering right now, it's kind of a, I, I, I don't know who actually watches my videos. But anyway, I was saying how if I just decline the ones that completely suck and take the ones that are kind of meh, you know, not the best, but not the worst, my acceptance rate will stay high. It's definitely above 50%. Um, and this order is that, exactly. I, I, in the past, I would have declined this order. All right, so, got this uh, Subway. It's another good order. I, I really think that if my acceptance rate was lower, I wouldn't be seeing these orders. I would be getting the $2. Even though I'm still, you know, it, the possibility of getting the $2 is still there, so. But I came up with another little hack. I'm sure some of y'all probably thought of it, but I don't know if you have this. I'll take a screenshot so I can show you in the video, but I can switch between doing deliveries in my car or on my bicycle. And I get way, 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 way less orders, obviously, when you say you're on your bicycle. But if your goal is to raise your AR, worst case scenario would be a $2 order, but it would only be going a mile or two, you know, because you're riding a bike. So they're not going to take you far. So it would at least shield you from those, you know, eight mile eight dollar six mile six dollar you know ten mile ten dollar orders because those are the ones that hurt you the worst to me especially when you're driving ten miles away to make ten dollars and then like if you're not getting another order right where you drop that off well you're screwed you're you're not making money you're spending money like uber is so damn hit or miss it's crazy and today it is miss look at this gem like No way in hell do I want to go that far away <laughs> to take someone some donuts. I knew that donut place opening at Shipley's Donuts, I knew that would be trouble because I know there's more than one of them, but the next one is probably 30 to 40 miles away. So you're going to get some crazy orders from that place. All right, so this order right here, great order, right? I was gonna ride my bike. I really should have just walked it, but carrying these two drinks would be sketchy. And that's that's the downfall of uh, signing in on your bicycle only because I wouldn't have gotten this order because it's two drinks. Oh, I never put my seatbelt on. All right, buckle up. Yeah, doing the bike thing is very, it's tricky. 
I mean, I guess if I invested in a better rack and a better bag and stuff so I could secure drinks, but I just, I feel like you're gonna spill stuff because the world is bumpy and bikes don't got no suspension. And even if they do have suspension, it's still bumpy. Alright, this one's not going far. And one drink so I can carry it and ride. Alright, so I only made $5, but probably took me 15 minutes on my bike. And now I'm about to bike up to the uh, skate spot again, where I'll probably spend most of my day today. But yeah, I need to put a kickstand back on this bike. Alright, so I took this Instacart order because I signed in on DoorDash like an hour ago or so and the only thing I saw was this one subway that I, I wasn't going to do. 450. I mean, it's close, but I just didn't want to do it. Anyway, I did this Instacart. This one's close and it's 11 bucks. It took me like four minutes, five minutes to shop for it. But I just went past Mama Roma's and it's the 4th of July on Tuesday and it's Sunday and they're closed Sunday Monday Tuesday so I can't rely on Mama Roma's for the next couple days to make me money All right, so this is gonna be the last order for this one. Um, so I'm gonna go over the numbers for the day. So on this day, I only worked for an hour and a half because uh, I was at the skate park most of the day and I only drove 32 miles. So and my total was $60 and 20 cents. Uh, I appreciate you watching. This was a short one today. Take it easy.